All right, we got another knife story. I don't even know how you pronounce this stuff. Chuchelillo? No, chuche, chuche, helio, chuchelillo, deportadillo. I think it's a Spanish uh, knife maker. I got this knife back in 90, probably seven, Christmas in 97. I was living over in Denmark at the time. And uh, the family I was living with owned a, a kind of a jewelry shop, gift shop. And they gave me a catalog to look through to pick a Christmas present out of. And I saw this knife. I just thought it looked really cool. I liked the shape of it. I had no idea the size. I thought it was a little bigger at the time. And uh, that's what I got for Christmas. What's that? Huh. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I mean, technically, Good New Year. To Sean from Mom and Dad Nelson. Huh, that's crazy. Still in there all these years. They were good people. A lot of fun. But yeah. This is probably my favorite knife. I use it when I go mushroom hunting. It's small. What does it say? Mule? M-U-E-L-A? C... Colibri? C-O-L-I-B-R-I? Yeah, Spain. Made in Spain, so it's a Spanish knife. It's got a, key, a few dingers in it. Still kind of sharp. It's very small. What do we got here for a blade? Seven and a half, seven and a quarter. Handle somewhere in the ballpark of maybe eight and a half. These are centimeters for subjects, I guess, if you will. Give it an overall just uh, 15 and a half, I guess, something like that. Measure it in freedom. We're looking at just under three inch blade. Two and seven eighths blade. Three and a quarter ish on the handle. Overall, it's looking like maybe six and an eighth, something like that. It's a well made knife. I don't know that much about the company. Like I said, when I when I picked it out, it was just a picture in a catalog, and my Danish isn't the greatest, especially reading, so I couldn't really read anything. It was just like, that looks cool. So I was just kind of sight unseen, except for the picture, so I guess not sight unseen. Never saw it in person. And what was funny is I decided I liked it so much I was just going to buy it myself, and they, they were like kind of, it was funny because they'd already gotten it for me, and they didn't want to show it to me, so they made me close my eyes, and they tried to make me touch it with my hands to figure out what it was and I never felt so unconfident in my life I could not figure out what this thing was with my eyes closed because they were trying to tell me to be careful because I wish I could cut myself I finally figured it out but it was that was actually we got a laugh out of that because I was just going to order it because I like the shape it's just I don't know something about this right here that line is just a beautiful line it's just a it's just a well proportioned knife now if it was bigger it'd be even cooler like I wouldn't mind this thing and they may make a bigger one. This may be like their mini version because some knife manufacturers do that. You know, full handle. That'd be sweet. But that's just, I think it's beautiful. That's just a beautiful knife. Stout. Yeah. By then I was old enough to have my knives. So I wasn't, my parents didn't take this one away from me. But I don't know, I mean, I don't know if it's ultra high end. I don't know anything about this company. I'm, I've been to Spain, but I didn't study their knife manufacturing while I was there. But So I'm sure I massacred the names and everything. But, uh, yeah, probably one of my favorite, favorite knives. 
Just I like the, the the way it looks. It just looks good, in my opinion. It's a nice case, or a sheath, I guess it would be. 